The human body is an amazing machine. In order for this person to ride the skateboard, his feet, hips, knees, elbows, and shoulders must be able to bend and flex. But what allows the bones to bend the way they do? Welcome to Moomoo Math in Science and Synovial Joints. Joints are where bones come together. A synovial joint is unique because the bones have cartilage at the end and they are attached by ligaments. And there's also a space in between the two bones filled with a fluid called synovial fluid. And this acts as a cushioning agent. Let's take a look at some of the different types of synovial joints that we have in our body. First, you have a ball and socket. They're found at your shoulder and your hips. And they allow for the movement of your shoulders and hips to move up and down and back and forth. They have a great range of motion. Basically, you take a ball and fit it into this socket. A condylin joint consists of an oval-shaped end of one bone fitting into a similarly oval-shaped hollow other bone. This type of joint allows the joint to move both side to side and up and down. An example of this joint is found at your wrist. Planar joints have bones that allow for gliding movements. So sometimes these joints are called gliding joints. The range of motion is limited in these joints and does not involve rotation. Planar joints are found in the carpal bones in the hand and the tarsal bones of the foot. Saddle joints are named because the ends of each bone resembles a saddle. An example of a saddle joint is your thumb joint, which can move back and forth and up and down. But more freely, it can move more freely than your wrist or fingers. Hinge joints can be found at your knees and your elbows, and they allow for back and forth movement. Think of a hinge on your door. And pivot joints consist of the rounded end of one bone fitting into a ring formed by the other bone. This structure allows for rotational movement as the rounded bone moves around its own axis. An example of a pivot joint is the joint of the first and second vertebrae of the neck and allows for your head to move back and forth. So there we go, the different types of synovial joints. And remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.